Okay, so this is a short intro video to the current version of Node Noggin, which is version 0.023D. So it's early, obviously, in the cycle of things. A um, couple of things to bear in mind. There are very little design work. This is more about functionality to some degree, but still including a level of delight. Um, I'm just going to talk you through some basics, showing you how it would work as a co-creation tool. Bear in mind, I'm just connected. It's only me at this point. So this isn't how the tool is designed to be used in demonstration purposes. I'm just going to focus on just showing you the interface as it stands. Uh, we've done quite a bit of testing already with groups of uh, students utilizing the, the tool. And this version will be uh, tested, and iterated, changed, whatever going forward but I just want to put together a real short little clip that just explains some of the information and of course you can try it out yourself so if you visit node noggin which is n-o-d-e-n-o-g-g -G dot i-n uh, then you can click on the link to visit the alpha version of the uh, project obviously it's free open source software project FOS so you can also download all the code you can look at what I'm doing you can read about it, uh, you can change it, you can edit it, you can do whatever, um, and you're welcome to. Uh, you can also provide feedback and discussion on either through uh, the, the main interface, uh, through the main website, or also through the Alpha software page itself. So, without too much rambling, let's get uh, Firefox up and show you how the current interface works, just talk through some of the basics in as simple a fashion as possible. Okay, so when you first arrive on the main page, you will be connected to the instance called Alpha. That's just the default. Uh, what I recommend that if you're running like a little workshop or activity with a number of people, that you connect to an instance together with a different name. So I'm gonna connect to uh, an instance. I'm gonna actually create one at the same time. I'm just gonna call that instance Music. So you click obviously create join and you'll see that that now tells you here and at the top here which instance you're connected to or sorry which instance you've created and thus established a synchronized connection. Any devices that now connect to that instance they are all synchronizing and sharing uh, synchronized data between the devices but all the data from all the devices is stored on your device so it's all locally stored in this instance uh, I've set it up to connect to a uh, cloud instance of CouchDB that manages the synchronization but CouchDB app can actually be downloaded onto an individual device such as a Mac and you could just connect everyone to that device so you don't actually need uh, a active connection to a internet based um, couch if you don't have it as long as you've got a connection between those devices so peer-to-peer -peer or whatever you can connect to the same instance for now obviously this connects to a singular cloud one but everything is distributed and stored and in fact uh, it can be a bit tricky to uh, stop uh, all the information being stored everywhere so it's very hard to get rid of uh, unless the users suggest otherwise to actually get rid of the data because it will synchronize back even if I was to delete things from uh, my end or even on the cloud which is again part and parcel of why I've created this way. So we connect to the instance music and I'm going to give my device uh, a name doesn't matter what you call it uh, this is currently shown but of course it's really good because it can be completely anonymous I'm just going to call it local for now this just seems to be what I tend to be calling my devices um, and then I click let's go all right so now I'm into the main interface there's a couple of things that are going on here all be on view JS so these are all components that can be manipulated changed and whatever we have a list view here which is currently being shown we have obviously the predominant view which is a spatial view uh, which I'll talk about in a second and then at the top we've got this uh, create and add attachments option so we're just going to go through some basic stuff. I'm going to use a lot of the keyboard shortcuts just to show you how quickly you can start to build up a research project. Again, obviously, it's just me connected. If there was a bunch of people working together, 
we'd be creating numerous objects, connections together rapidly. And in fact, we've done a bunch of testing where we see that working really, really well. So let's start making some uh, pieces. OK, so let's do create. So I'm going to start my research piece on Guns N' Roses. Uh, OK, what do they do? They made a couple of albums. Use. Well, they made more than a couple of albums. Uh, one. Let's do that, just so we know. Uh, do another one. OK. Uh, and let's think what we need is some records, obviously. So um, create. things so uh, 1990s and click uh, okay so a bunch of those have started being created and they've actually they're all stack on top of each other currently but I can pick them up and move them around um, oh ignore that one don't know what happened there uh, okay so what I can now do is I can start to use some keyboard shortcuts to Create a number of connections, so I can can or I can press these buttons, so I can do. Uh, let's do uh, shift shift C, turn on connection mode. I can then start to connect these together. Shift C, uh, shift C, onto that one. Shift C, onto that one. So ne and now what you can see is I've got obviously a number of connections here. Uh, oh, maybe I might decide that in fact, ignore the cuckoo clock, uh, this connection here should be so I can do remove connections. So I do shift V and I can actually tap on these lines. I can actually zoom in and zoom out with shift plus and minus if I need to. Uh, I'm going to remove another connection. Uh, 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 remove connection. There we go. And then let's turn on connection mode again. So I want to go there to there, connection mode there to there, connection mode there to there. Okay, brilliant. So that's better. Right, and let's add in a few more options. So I'm going to do a new uh, civil war. Uh, oh, okay, that. I'm going to edit this one because it should say civil war. Uh, finish. And then I'm going to edit this one as well, so I'm going to double click on that. That one can be uh, knocking on heaven's door. Not nicking, knocking. Knocking on heaven's door. Mm -hmm. Finish that. Let's do. One more thing. Okay. Well, it would be a miss if we didn't include the lead singer, I guess. Axl Rose. Finish. All right. So let's make a few more connections with these. At the moment, obviously, I can just pick up one at a time and shift them. I can't pick up groupings, but you get the idea. Uh, so those connection from there to there, connection there to there. Guns and Roses connection from there to there. The other thing I can do, I can add actually, let's add uh, a link so we can put in a gunandroses.com finish. So we can pop that, let's pop that there. Just do a connection between there and there. And then maybe if I want to add in uh, uh, an attachment, I can click Add, and I can pick another image. So here I've got an attachment I've actually uploaded. If I double click, you'll see. Double click that, I've added the artwork. So I can call it Artwork. Oh no, 
album. Hmm. Close that. And then I can also connect that to that. Put that there maybe. Okay. So that's a basic version. Obviously I'm going to double click on any of these and edit them where necessary. So you can quickly see how you can build up a little connection and cluster of objects using Node Noggin. So there you go. So yeah, I just want to show you that. I think when you're finished, uh, if you don't want to keep any of the data, um, then the way to sort that out is basically to say on here where it says the instance name, first thing you do is click delete by contributions, that will delete everything. Then I recommend you type in again the instance, click delete local instance, type in the instance again and click delete local storage and that will then get you back to square one. So there you go.